squeeze more. What? You heard me, just try it. You did it! I did, didn't I? I'm flashy, by the way. Actually, do you want to come inside? Yeah, sure. Cool, but where are your parents? The dad when I was young. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. My family has a history from suffering from night terrors, me included. But at least I've still got my brother. Does your brother suffer from night terrors too? No. Has your brother been helping you then? No. I never talked to him. Don't you think you should tell someone something really bad could happen? But that's the thing. Nothing bad is happening. I'm doing just fine on my own. After I have a night terror, I just take some deep breaths. Then I'm fine. Plus, I use gymnastics as an escape. Well, that explains why you're always out front. Yeah, I've got everything under control. It's getting late. I'm going to head home. But I'll come by tomorrow. Do you want me to walk you out? No, it's OK. I'm on the way. I had a gym by getting stabbed in the stomach. I see, well... What? Ooh, is this diary yours? No. Are you sure? Let's see, shall we? Surely that means the diary belongs to someone else. We'll see about that. I'm planning to go out tonight. I'm so happy the war is finally over, which means no more chaperones following me around. Freedom, here I come. But what will I wear? My little bright dress? My chemise dress? My shift dress? I can't make up my mind. Ugh, what's a load of rubbish? The last time I went out dancing, there was a fight. A man threw a wine glass on a woman's head. The glass shattered. But some of it went into my arm. I had a night terror later that night, revealing the situation. Except for this time, after the glass went into my skin, I got the largest chunk of glass I could find and shoved it into the woman's neck. <coughs> but the messed up part is that I woke up with blood all over my hands, holding the chunk of glass I used to stab the woman. Could I have really done this? Um, okay, so I'm fine that this isn't your diary. No, babe. I mean, it can't just be a coincidence that the diary we found in your room was written by someone who also suffers from night terrors. I know for a fact that I don't kill people in my sleep. How would you know if you're out cold? All I know is I could be speaking to a homicidal maniac. The only psycho around here is Nora. Just keep reading. After that night. Eventually, I did find a solution to ridding myself of these night terrors. The first thing I tried was locking my dreams into a diary. However, this method did not work for me because sometimes I found it difficult to remember certain details of my dreams. The next thing I tried was reality testing. Every hour I would pinch myself, telling myself, I'm awake. I'm convinced you're doing this. No way in hell I'm going to take the word out from across the old diary that may or may not be made up. It can't be made up. It's in so much detail. Like, who will go out of their way to write that? I can think of someone. Oh! Do you want me to kill you in your sleep? Yeah. You're not funny. You're doing this whether you like it or not. I just decided I want to try this for dreaming. Go on then. I don't own a clock. Yeah, it is. It's over here. Let's do this.
room. This is the life. You're lucky you're even here right now. What do you mean? Let's just say... You're a figment of my imagination. No way. Can you make me disappear? No way. Can you make me fly? Of course. Really? No. How about this? Let's do a race to the end of the grass. If I win, you give me a little pocket money. If you win, you give me 50 p. Okay, deal. But try not to cheat. Um, since I've controlled the stream, I think I can. Okay, whatever. But on the count of three. One, two, three. What did you dream about? So basically, we were outside having a McDonald's picnic and I tricked you into giving me money. Wait a minute, did you just say you tricked me into giving you money? Yep. Yeah. Well, if you ever think I'll do that in real life, then you, my friend, are sadly mistaken. I'm aware. I dreamt about this for a reason. Well, anything you want to say to me? Thank you. You're so... Pathetic. I went out my way to help you and this is why I get. No wonder your brother's never around. I bet you can't stand to be around an ungrateful little brat. And your parents don't even get me started. You really think they'll be proud of you after the person you've grown up to become? I wish I never met you. You deserve to die just like your parents did. What did you just say to me? I said you're so welcome and then you spaced out. What the hell's wrong with you? What? You said that I was ungrateful and that it's my fault my brother's around. I. You, you, you wish that I was dead. Listen to me very, very carefully. You're not yourself. You're hallucinating. I never said any of those horrible things. Lucid dreaming has made you confused about what's real and what's imagined. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. I just wanted to help you. I never should have let you read Nora's diary. I feel horrible. I wish I thought things through. How stupid do you think I am? You just said it's my fault that my parents died. Nothing you can say can justify that. Get out! What? Get out! asking the wrong question. Why are you torturing me? I'm trying to help you. By stabbing me in the stomach? You need to face your problems instead of letting them control you. You're a psychopath. 